Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the golf doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to hit a high bunker shot. So if this is your first time to this channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf and lowering your golf score. So if you like the video, you can click on the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, and if you really like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have a suggestion for a future video, stick it in the comments below, or any questions about this video, put it in the comments below. So as I said, today we're going to try and talk you through how to play a high bunker shot. So this is a bunker with a fairly high lip. This is probably about five feet from where I am now, and I've got a fair bit of room to play with. So it's pretty important we get this ball up and out of the bunker. So I'm going to show you the steps that I take and the things that I think about in order to play this. So the first one that we need to really think of is you need to choose the club. Now, it, I have a 60 degree sand wedge here and I want as much loft as I possibly can to play this bunker shot. It's a very steep lip. I've probably got about, what's that, one, two meters from where my ball to the top of the lip is in, in that way and it's about five feet high. So I've got to get this ball up fairly quickly. Now you can do it with a less lofted club, but I think the most amount of loft you have, the better. And a 60 degree is a great asset to have in your bag. So if you don't have one, consider getting one. So the first thing I do when I play this shot is I open my stance just a little bit. So my target line is in that direction. My stance is open. And I do this to help promote a slight cutting across the ball action when I hit the shot. It's really important that I can get that cutting across. That helps me to add loft through the shot and get that ball up and out. So the second thing that I do when I play this shot is I tend to just have the club face at least square, maybe just that little bit open because this lip is fairly close to me. So I would, it's probably the one of the few times I would advise opening the club face here in Melbourne. But I definitely just open the club face. So I'm opening the club and it's sort of going in that direction. And once again, that's to help me maximize my loft at impact. And that's what it's all about. It's not so much how, how much loft you have at the start, it's how much loft you have at impact that counts. So the third thing I look at is ball position. And ball position can be a little bit misleading because really there are two ball positions we need to think of. So the first one is in relation to the target, my ball position is forward of center quite a bit. It's a long way forward in there. But in relation to where I'm standing, the ball position is only just ahead of center. So they're both the correct answer. It just depends whether we're talking about the target or our stance. So they are one and the same, but uh, it's definitely forward of center. I want to try and enter the sand roughly where the middle of my stance is in relation to where my feet are pointing. With the open club face, that's going to help get the ball up and out. Okay, so the fourth thing that I think of when I play these shots, to help me get the ball up, I tend to lower my hands a little bit more. I just have them a fraction down that way a little bit more. That helps to get the heel of the club into the sand, which will help keep that club face open for me. And it's gonna really help me to get that ball up and out of the bunker. Fortunately, th with this grind I have on my, on my lob wedge, it won't bounce on me by having that heel there. But it's just all these little things that, they're all one percenters, but they all add up to making this a lot easier than what it would be if I didn't do it. And the sixth thing that I do when I play this shot is I have my stance a little bit wider than normal. And the reason I have my stance a little bit wider than normal is to try and eliminate my lower body. I really don't want weight transference uh, during this shot. By keeping my body out, it enables me to get the club head in front of my hands. If I'm turning this way, it, it doesn't help happen, uh, it doesn't help me. So I don't really want my butt end of the club staying in front of the club. I really want to get that club coming 
in front of my hands. And the trick here is when I do it, I want to keep that club face open. I'm not releasing the club that way. I'm actually releasing it, holding the club face open. And I've done a, a video before, which is called the open face coffee cup drill, where I attach a coffee cup to the face. And you almost got to feel like that when you're playing the shot, you're trying to keep the coffee inside the cup. We don't want to turn it and spill it. This is one of those examples. So having that wider stance eliminates the lower body, just makes it easier for me to use my hands. And as I've said before, the most important thing here is I need maximum loft at impact. It's good to have loft at the start, but we really want to have loft at impact. There's no point having loft at the start only for me to start transferring my weight, having my hands in front, taking loft off the club. I want to maximize that loft at impact. So it's just a good thought to have when I play it. And finally, the more speed I can generate in my downswing, the higher the ball is going to travel. If I just generate a small amount of speed, it's going to come out, but it's not going to come out very high. So the more speed I can generate within reason and with control on that downswing, the higher the ball is going to come out and the softer it is going to land. So let's see how I go. There's a pretty good shot. It's probably a couple of flag sticks short, but importantly, it got out and over this bunker. It's on the green. I then get the putter out and hopefully knock it in, if not two putts at worst. So the worst score I can have is a bogey. So that's my process for playing this shot. I'd love to know what your process, process is. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask or any suggestions to videos in the future. Not that I'm short of ideas, but I love answering questions you may have. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.